And there is Chichi Gonzalez. He has already pitched against Toronto this year. That was at a Minnesota twin. And now he gets him for the second time, partner. So here's Kirk. He has reached base in six of his eight plate appearances in this series. He's ranked home runs on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. The 0 1 hit high and deep to center field. Davis going back, and Kirk has done it again. What an unbelievable roll he is on right now as he launches one to center field, and the Blue Jays have an early 3 to nothing lead. Blue Jays you mentioned just saw Gonzalez a couple of weeks ago so they know what he features and Kirk with his 10th home run a new career high with that home run has been money since they put him in that cleanup spot hanging breaking ball that's a spinning slider right there that did nothing fourth home run in six games for Alejandro Kirk. Three run shot dead straight away in center field off of Gonzalez. They know a little bit about each other. He has a lot of success in his career versus the Milwaukee Brewers. This is his 15th start of the season. Here's Rowdy Telez, the former Blue Jay. Barrios deals again, swinging a drive to center and deep. Way back. Get up. Get up. Get out of here. Gone for Rowdy Telez. And the Brewers are on the board. It's three. Two Blue Jays on a long blast by Rowdy Telez. That's his 12th on the year against his former mates. And the Brewers answer with a couple here in the opening inning. And Omar Narvaez, 6 out of 24 against Barrios, is going to be the batter. Narvaez, that's in the gap right center field, going to get down. Barrios on the run, and he's going to be waved home. No throw. Uria scores. Narvaez draws a throw and will be tagged out. So the Brewers tie it. Count the run at the plate. A three spot for the Blue Jays in the top of the first. And the Brewers answer with three of their own in the bottom. First and third. Nobody out. Brewers a chance to grab the lead here in the second inning. And Jonathan Davis at the plate. The former Blue Jay. Up the middle. Going to be a tough play. Espinal going to third. Stay on the bag, Jace. He does. Another run is in. It's an infield hit for Jonathan Davis, and the Brewers take the lead four to three here in the second inning. Well, you put it in play, you give yourself a chance. You can see Espinal able to get there. He was thinking about throwing the third, and Peterson rounded that back too much. Good job by Jason Lane to make sure he stayed on the bag. Close. And now second and third for Yelich. Nobody out. 4 3 Brewers. And Yelich pulls one on the ground. That'll get the job done. Another run is in. And the first out at first base. So not only do you plate one, but you advance a runner to third. And Yelich with his 27th RBI of the season. That brings up Willie Adamas. But he's going to score anyway. The easy way. Davis scores. Adamas on the first pitch. Lines one into left field, and the Brewers put another three spot on the board. Another six spot for Barrios. He, he gave up six runs his last time out. That was against the White Sox, and here in the second inning, already six runs in from Milwaukee. Taking out the frustrations already today. Rowdy Telez, who hit the two run home run back in the first, is going to be the batter. Rowdy in the right. That ball got some carry. And it's gone. It hit the top of the wall and bounces on out of here. He's done it again. Rowdy Telez. Two innings, two homers, five RBIs. Eight to three, Milwaukee. And doing it against your own team. Breaking ball right down the middle, up in the zone, 83 miles an hour, and one hop off the top of the wall and out. You don't see him show a lot of emotion, but after that ball hit the top of the wall and bounced out, he was fired up. Why wouldn't you be? And now Willie Adamas, who has torched the Blue Jays in his career, comes to the plate with the bases loaded. Popped up. Bichette battling the sun, but is there to make the catch, and the Brewers will leave him loaded. End of three, and Milwaukee leading eight to three. So one down for Santiago Espinal. Got an opportunity to start crawling back into this one here. On the ground, chance here. Urias, Adamas, in time. 
four six three double play. Good call partner. Two hits to start the inning a line drive out and then the pitchers best friend. Blue Jays come up empty Gustave back to back zeros and it's still eight three and the Brewers hoping to deliver a knockout punch right here. They're loaded up with nobody out. McCutcheon first ball swinging off the glove of Chapman going to the bag nothing there nothing anywhere. Yelich will score. McCutcheon wasting no time. That'll be a base hit and an RBI. And the Brewers lead nine to three. I think if Chapman's able to pick that cleanly, he's going to be able to turn two. It was hit hard. So the beat goes on. Off the glove. Tried to get the out at third base. Couldn't do it. All hands safe. Base is still loaded and a run in. That left a bat at 104 miles an hour. Chapman almost made a great play. In the air, left center field. Springer on the run. This will be deep enough to score Adamas. Sacrifice fly also tagging. He's big rowdy. Brewers have double digits on the board. Urias with an RBI makes it 10 to 3. And that's lined over to the shortstop. Played on a short hop by Bichette. He'll go to second for one. Easy turn to first in time. Arvias hit into a sharp inning ending double play. Blue Jays minimize the damage. Brewers do play to pair here in the sixth. Bradley Zimmer will pinch it. Last call for the Blue Jays here. Zimmer flies to left, hit pretty well. McCutcheon is right there, and the Brew Crew winning two out of three from the Toronto Blue Jays. Ooh, I mean, take two out of four from St. Louis and then win a series against the Blue Jays. I mean, that was a pretty good run for the Brewers. Kelly finishes it off, three up, three down. Rowdy Telez with two two run homers, and Milwaukee is a winner here this afternoon in front of a big crowd.